good evening everybody i'm back again with another tutorial this one was not requested however i feel like i needed to make this video because it is hard as hell to find the actual download for the sims 4 tray importer like at one point i gave up trying to download it because it wouldn't work on my macbook and it wasn't until recently that i realized you needed two different installers to get the app to work so i'm going to show you exactly where to go and what to do in order to get the tray importer to work on your macbook all right, so the first step we're going to do is open Safari and you're going to Google Sims 4 Tray Importer for Mac. And typically it will be the first link for this website called Lunaverse Sims. Next, you're going to click on this top link right here. And if an ad pops up, just reload the page and then click on the link again. Now you're on the page you need to be on to download everything you'll need for the Tray Importer. You're going to click on both of these links. One of them is the tray importer and one of them is the installer. And this link right here is something called a Mac OS times 64 installer. And this is the last thing that you'll have to download in order to get the tray importer to work. All right, now that those are finished, I'm going to click on the tray importer just to show you that when you try to use it on its own, it can't be opened. So to fix that, I'm going to run these two installers and I'm going to click this one first. And just like the Anadius tools file, you're going to have to go to your privacy and security settings to give your Mac permission to run the installer. And once that is finished, you can move on to the other file and you'll only need to use your Mac's password to run this one. So now that I'm finished with both of the installer files, the tray importer is now ready to be opened. Y'all, look at how cool this is. I can see all of the Sims I've created and all of the house builds that I have in my library. And in the files tab, you'll see your tray files for that item. And if you use any custom content, you'll see everything in the CC tab. And this is everything that I used to create these two sims. You can even click on the individual items to see a picture of it. And if you double click on it, it will take you directly to the file that it's located in. So if you're somebody who maybe wants to share your work with others, this is probably the easiest way that I know how to do it. So this house is not my build, but I did decorate it and it's one of my absolute favorites. I just love that I'm able to see every single CC item that I used to decorate this house. And I'm actually working on sharing my files with y'all in case any of y'all are interested in downloading any of my Sims or houses that I have created and I'll have that ready soon. So stay tuned. Alrighty y'all, that is it for this video. If you are struggling and you need help getting the tray importer to work, my contact info is in the description box. My email and my iCloud are always open, but the quickest way to reach me is by sending a text to my iCloud. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.